Some viewers may find this disturbing. Your discretion is advised. Welcome to the Reptile Channel. We show videos on the care and feeding of reptiles. Like many of us, my love for reptiles began with dinosaurs. This is literally people that are into cruelty. There's just something about these amazing creatures who walked the earth millions of years before us. So you think maybe they're covering their ass trying to, so they don't get demonetized or? Potentially. <laughs> reptiles are awesome creatures who play an important role in the planet's ecosystem. But the animal has a respiratory infection. At Reptile Channel, we enjoy educating people and sharing our love of these amazing animals. Right there. It's trying to breathe. It's, <laughs> say hi. What? <laughs> Dude. Okay, so, yeah. In the feeding videos, we'll discuss the science behind them, how they hunt, and how they eat. It's like Shark Week, but with actual science. They caught a wild squirrel. Why would you do that? We have a deep respect for these misunderstood and often scary creatures. Thank you for watching the Reptile Channel. Please subscribe and don't forget to support us on Patreon. Uh, their guise is education. And it's really, it's basically, you know, this is a fetish for type sick, sadistic type uh, channel that's being disguised as something educational. Today's video is about the Reptile Channel. The Reptile Channel is a channel on YouTube that reports itself as a science channel showing reptiles feed. But in reality, the channel is made by a man by the name of Jonah Vaughan who has a history of animal abuse. Allegedly. Today's video is extremely disturbing, but in order to understand what's going on, we need to understand what the meaning of the word vor is and what it entails. Before we take a look at the world of vor and how I believe that the Reptile Channel is using science and education as a cover up for a fetish. So, what is vor? What does vor mean? Well, there are plenty of definitions online and they all pretty much mean the same thing. Dictionary.com states that vor is a fetish involving being eaten by or eating someone or something real or imaginary. But why is it called that? Well, I originally thought it was derivative of the word carny, vor, but according to Psychology Today, it states that compared to hard vor, soft vor is usually seen as more sensual and orientated because of its relatively non-violent nature is where the person is consumed by the and taken into the womb and often referred to as the unbirthing or a reversed birth. Gross right? Well Urban Dictionary goes a little bit more into detail speaking on what it means colloquially. Short for vorophilia it is a fetish where one fantasizes about being eaten alive or eating another creature alive, sometimes known as phagophilia. The most common type of vor is soft vor, being swallowed or swallowing whole with no bloodshed. There is also the less common hard vor, which involves the tearing and chewing of 
Other types of vor include macrophilia, in which one character involved in the vor is larger than the smaller animal. The man who is allegedly behind the reptile channel goes by the pseudonym of Jonah Vor. Most likely not his birth name, but Vor is in his name, so we already know what he's all about. However, his first name also is a nod to this fetish, as the name Jonah refers to the biblical figure who was swallowed by a whale. This is one deep-seated sicko. So let's find out who this guy is. Who is Jonah Vor? There is literally only one picture that we have been able to find of Joan of War online, probably because he doesn't want his face associated with his disgustingly criminal act. Joan of War ran a channel on YouTube that was actually banned from the platform because of his alleged abuse towards animals. One user stumbled across the reptile channel and then realised that some things just seemed way too familiar. The user stated, I couldn't help but notice a new channel breaking out on YouTube. I couldn't help but feel the videos I was watching were all too familiar. Sure enough, the more I looked into it, the more signs began to point to the owner of the channel being Jonah Four. If you couldn't remember who that is, he is a notorious animal using reptiles nature of swallowing animals whole to indulge his war fantasies. This person was exposed years ago when he was originally posting content in YouTube in 2007 and he was banned. The only thing that I was able to find from that far back is a video by a YouTuber by the name of Mix Trapper, which was nine years ago, dated in 2010. In this video, he goes on to expose the Vore channel and judging by the comment section, a lot of people kind of didn't understand or misunderstood what it was that he was trying to say. Take a listen to what it was that he had to say all them years ago. To all those who think this is part of nature, I don't know if you're more sick than the guy that put that video out there or what because that's not nature where people find pleasure on seeing another creature dying in a painful way and especially if they upload those videos to YouTube for, for them to share the same cruelty and the same fantasies fantasies because this is psychological crap I mean I'm not really a, a professional but this guy's sick so my point is YouTube why you still have this video out there that clearly shows animal cruelty that clearly shows this guy's a psychopath that wants to share his actual psychotic fantasies with the rest of the world you know why haven't you take that video out and that guy out? Wake the f up, YouTube! Clearly, the videos that Joan of All was posting back in 2010, 2007 and prior to that was causing a lot of people distressed. Judging by this video from 2010, this individual really wanted YouTube to do something about it. And they did. He was banned. But now he's back. And I think that it's time for YouTube to do something about it. But I know what you guys are thinking. Who's to say it is Joan of who is in control of the reptile channel? Well, a YouTuber by the name of Donny Rapture decided to delve into this very, very deep. So we're going to be connecting the dots when it comes to Joan of and the reptile channel. that people think that it is Joan of War behind the reptile channel is because some people recognize some of his old videos that are a part of the reptile channel. The reptile channel is owned by this guy named Joan of War. I'm going to show you why the two are linked. Now why is it important that they're linked? Joan of War did some sick stuff on YouTube that got him banned, okay? He has some really bad content and then he had to start his YouTube channel all over again and he started the reptile channel and the reptile channel did not start all squeaky clean like it is now and it's trying to act like it's teaching people something but it has a deep underlying message and what that is is it's fulfilling a lot of people's vor fetish what's a vor fetish people like the idea of being swallowed alive or watching other people getting swallowed alive or other animals being swallowed alive it's a thing people have i don't have it it's kind of disturbing but i'm not going to judge that's the thing but when you bring it into reality and you have other real-life creatures swallowing other real-life creatures for no reason and senseless violence, that's 
That's where I draw the line. So allegedly, the presenters of the channel are possibly his wife and or girlfriend, and some people are even suggesting that his mother also has a role in the channel too. Donny Rapture takes a further look into the Big Gulp message board, which is a place where I guess all the people who enjoy Vaux can share and post pictures and vlogs and blogs and all that kind of stuff. Now that was a place where Joan of Vaux really felt at home and he was posting frequently on the message board and he gained a lot of fans and a lot of notoriety on there. It is from there that we are able to see some of the few previous posts from the Reptile channel before it got deleted. Take a look at what Donny Rapture had to say. Okay, everybody, so we're on the Big Gulp message board, and we're at May 2017. This is an old version of this website. Raven swallows rats, okay? We got that. We got new YouTube channel of real life feedings, hosted by the Reptile channel. Let's look at that one. Okay. Here's a post, basically saying that he's um, reposted some of his stuff from his previous channel, Smiley Face, and he links his uh, the Reptile channel. Okay, this is their uh, their page at 192 subscribers. I want you guys to look at the thumbnails. Read the titles. The, th the thumbnails are deleted because the videos had to be deleted because if he linked the two together, he'd be banned again. Okay? Carbon Python eats chicks alive. Some blood on the snout. Not for the squeamish. Rats eaten alive. Raven attacks. What is this? March 2017. We're gonna go up one month, look at May. We're in 2017 right now, and there's a Reptile Channel post right there. Okay, good. So his posts are still on in 2017. Let's look at June 2017. They're all deleted. That's a little strange, don't you think? They're not there anymore. He deleted them for some reason. Why is that? Funny thing happened around this time. He started getting reported. He started having articles written about his channel, and he had to clean up his act. If you don't believe me, you guys can go on Google, type in the Reptile Channel, find a little bit more evidence, a little bit more things. That's his original logo right there. Uh, that's 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 what happened in that time period. I got a bunch of baby rabbits the other day. They were so cute. Any guesses of what happened to them? Don't worry, I got it on video. One of the large monitors swallowed four of the baby rabbits alive, one after another. I heard them crying as. One pass into the monitor's stomach. Take that, you damn rabbits. There's a few things in my life that warms my heart as much as seeing an outline of a helpless form moving inside a well-fed predator's belly. We actually took a look at the Big Gulp message board and th this weird sicko guy had like a tally for all of the animals and the fatalities that, that he had as a result of his vor fetish. So in this screenshot, Joan of Orr is boasting about the number of animals that has died as a result of him feeding them to reptiles. As you can see, along with rodents, which isn't necessarily weird as a lot of reptile owners do feed their pets rodents, He's also admitting to feeding 15 dogs and one cat to his reptiles. Here is another screenshot where Jonah is suggesting that his snake Brutus has eaten humans and that some other members of the community have seen pictures of this. Whether this is true or not or part of his fantasy, I don't know. Although it does seem strange that he says that other people have seen photos of this when they haven't. That's going beyond fantasy and making it more of a reality, in my opinion. That for me goes way beyond nature. This goes way beyond the circle of life. Because in reality, a cat or a dog would not encounter a reptile in those same parameters and situations. So my thought is, if it's not necessarily about the animal's nutrition and appetite, whose appetite are they serving? Food for thought. No pun intended. Okay, so let's play devil's advocate. Let's say that somebody was trying to get Joan of Orr exposed or take down the reptile channel and they decided to attach it to the Joan of Orr and leave all those posts on a message board saying sick stuff. Stranger things have happened on the internet page. Well, this is where Donny Rapture goes into further detail to show you that without a shadow of a doubt, this is Joan of Orr, allegedly, for legal purposes. Pictures of Brutus. I'm going to be showing you guys enclosures from the original for Joan of Orr and the Reptile Channel. The Reptile Channel's enclosures are a little bit more updated, but this is the same custom built enclosure. I'm going to show you why later. But look at them right now. Do you not see the similarities? Okay? And it's, this is definitely evidence too. Look at these stairs. 
these are definitely the same stairs. They angle the same way. They've got the same little uh, fixes made on them too. I know there's plywood on the left, but this is an updated version on the right. Coincidence or not, these are the same people. Okay, so let's say that the audience is still a cynic. People have stairs like that all across America. And in fact, people have custom made enclosures all the time. This is nothing special. Well, Donny Rapture takes it even further. Okay, check out the enclosures again. Just look at them again. The lashes are very similar, aren't they? Okay, so some of you guys might be like, maybe it's just the enclosure is similar. Maybe he bought it somewhere and this guy happens to own it too. No, this is a custom built job. He even posted photos online of how he built it in great detail that I found on this message board. Here's a picture of the door. Here's the door. It's the same door. Everything's custom made. This guy is a carpenter. You can even see on his new, uh, on the Reptile channel, he has all of his carpentry videos. This guy is the same guy. So I know what you're thinking. Okay, so what if Joan of Orr was this creepy, sicko kind of guy, but he's cleaned up his act and has made a family-friendly channel? Who cares, Paige? People can change. Maybe he is reformed from his behavior. Well, I think it's important to think about who these videos are for. So let's take a disgusting, disturbing look. seems that this disgusting guy, Joan of Orr, likes to write erotic fiction or raw erotica about lizards and other reptiles having sex with women, eating them and then defecating. Holy crap. The screenshot on the screen right now shows some of his work. This could mean that he hasn't fed people, i.e. humans, to his pet snake and lizards, etc. But like I said earlier, it's all a part of his sick fantasy, and I really wouldn't be surprised even if he had. The screenshot that I'm showing up on the screen right now is one of his vor erotica fictional stories. It's, it's gross. By far one of the most disturbing things that I have ever read. Like, I'm not trying to kink shame. I understand that some things are just fantasy, but I feel like because he's taking that step from making that fantasy more into a reality, it just makes me feel so gross. These are literally defenseless animals, and I just can't fathom why a human would think of them in that way. But that brings the question again, like, who are these videos for? Well, one look at the Reptile Channel's Patreon will give you everything you need to know. Previously on the Reptile Channel's Patreon, this was the header. When you're thinking about this channel as a family-friendly channel, you're thinking of kids like dinosaurs and they also like the idea of a human being eaten by a dinosaur. It's funny to them. But when you zoom in on the individual's expression whilst being eaten by a dinosaur, there's something a little bit more sinister here. It's not just linear, it's not just in your face. There's something hidden. And hiding on that Patreon is a whole slew of individuals who also enjoy a bit of awe. Once again, Donny Rapture takes a look into one of the Patreons. On it, but Tasted Like Chicken is a support of his Patreon. It's in all the end of these videos, as I have highlighted here. Now, I looked into this guy. He is very much still on the internet. He was actually on this message board, okay? Some old post. He's, he was pretty active on there, too. So let's go to this message right here. Uh, searching for something special. I'm gonna let you read this disturbing post on your own time, so you can pause the video if you want. But let's go to his uh, Deviant Art page, which should definitely be normal, correct? So that's still active. You can go check it out right now. It's still on the internet. Let's check out these mature content images. Oh, that's cool. That's a dog getting eaten by a snake. What else you got? That can only be the one. Oh, look at that. Another dog getting eaten by a snake. And another dog. And another dog. I see a trend. So that deviant art profile by that Patreon shows a far more sinister intent behind these videos. That's the kind of person that these videos are catering to. It also makes me think that maybe the boasting of feeding dogs and cats to reptiles wasn't fantasy. It was real. Take a quick look into the educational benefits of watching the reptile channel. I want you to watch the following clip and ask yourself 
What is educational about this? This was part of a study on snake feeding behavior, the relationships between snakes and their prey. It's believed large snakes are no different than large lizards in that they will consume any small-sized prey available. Just because a large constrictor can feed on an antelope doesn't mean they'll refuse prey the size of chicks or baby rodents. So in the screenshot, you can see that this is a direct quote from the channel's description box, but they have now since changed it, trying to pass off the content as educational to hide the fact that it's really all about the vor fetish. Please pause to read if you are interested in reading it. The reptile channel's description has now since changed on YouTube, and it downplays the previous focus on the science of feeding behavior and now adds a supposed purpose of accepting other people's videos. Pause to read if you are interested in reading this as well. And now more recently it has changed again slightly. Pause to read if you are interested in reading this too. Are these people really serious? How are they now deciding to call this a family friendly channel? They know full well what these videos are and they're made purely to satisfy Jonah's fetish not for education purposes. This is the kind of thing that will give children nightmares. I understand that there are nature documentaries and the vast majority of which shows animals and eating other prey. But the difference is they show the animal's natural behavior in a natural feeding habitat. They don't trap baby birds in a pen and then throw in a lion because that isn't educational. Of course the carnivore is going to eat the small prey animal. That's what they do. There's nothing more for anybody else to learn there. Children should not be exposed to these kind of things. But for some reason, YouTube thinks it's a-okay. What do you think about this video? Is this an educational video? Uh, it's educational in the fact we're gonna talk about predator's relationship with their prey and that the snake being opportunistic it will eat many of these small prey items versus spending its energy just to eat you know basically capture and eat one large prey item this is this is literally people that are into cruelty this is all about watching a predator eat hapless victims. Although the channel tries to describe itself as for educational purposes, it's clear to almost everybody that that is not the case. In the past, Jonah has posted a video of a raven eating a live mouse, and it's clear in the video that the raven isn't at all interested in eating the mouse. And then the video cuts to a hand force feeding the mouse to the raven. You can't claim that you want to educate people and show them the feeding habits of certain animals if you are force feeding them. You are not showing them in their natural feeding habitats. You are stuffing live animals into their mouth. The whole thing isn't just cruel to the mouse, but it's also cruel to the raven. He doesn't care about animals like that at all. Jonah just wants to satisfy his own sick and twisted fantasies for his own gratification. This was part of a study on snake feeding behavior. A the study? relationships between snakes and their prey. A study. All right, so I'm just gonna let this <laughs> anaconda go into my chicken coop and just let it eat anything. That's all, all the chicks. Science. In that they will consume Jesus. any small-sized prey available. Well, yeah, no way. They're opportunistic just feeders. They're gonna eat anything that they can. She That's does just say a that. known fact. A large constrictor can feed on an antelope doesn't mean they'll refuse prey the size of chicks or baby rodents. Obviously. It's food, not gonna refuse it. There's no need to have it go into a chicken coop. It's just like showing off that anacondas are these like horrible creatures that are trying to go into your livestock and try to get your livestock and it's just trying to paint them in a horrible light. And man eater, man eaters, man eaters. And the man eater, giant man eating snake. Also, I wanted to note that the facts that they give on their channel to make them seem like an educational channel are really pathetic. They don't actually teach anybody anything because it's obvious things that people already know, such as reptiles are found on all continents except Antarctica. Like, no shit. I'm pretty sure everybody learns that at primary school. They're cold-blooded animals that need heat from the sun and Antarctica is cold. And you could have told us all of that without facilitating the death of hundreds of innocent animals. I mean, pretty much anybody in the profession could tell you that. So you think maybe they're covering their ass trying to, so they don't get demonetized or? Potentially, I mean, <laughs> we don't always feed snakes large meals. If we're trying to grow a snake up to size for breeding, we consistently feed it much smaller meals. I mean, I have respect for the food chain and that animals need to eat. Yep. But on this scale, putting a anaconda in a dog pen and 
having all these baby chicks is just unnecessary. And if that wasn't even bad enough, not only are they contributing to the suffering of animals who will be eaten, they also don't look after the reptiles that they have in their care that are supposed to be their pets. Their anaconda is clearly sick with a respiratory infection. The guys at New England Reptile have actually analysed the videos themselves and diagnosed this. These are trained, qualified professionals who deal with snakes and reptiles on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so see right there? So basically this is working very well for them, but actually the reality is we have green anaconda. This is a very large female green anaconda, so uh, kudos to whoever raised this animal to this, this size. But the animal has a respiratory infection. So I'm noticing we have saliva in here, and the animal basically keeps opening its mouth. There's a lot of spittle in there. The color of its gums is wrong, uh, and some other shots, and there's something called petechia. The blood vessels dilate so much that actually some of them, they, they burst, they rupture, and you get these little bits of uh, hemorrhaging. This animal repeatedly, as I'm looking at this video, keeps on adjusting its mouth, opening its mouth. It's basically struggling to breathe. You think if these people are educators and educating the general public about reptile care that they would catch this? I think they like to keep these big predators because of what the predators do, but I don't really think they have a lot of uh, concern or, or you know, empathy or value for, for these animals. That, all right, so look right there. That's all, this is all phlegm that's filling up and her esophagus back there. And that's a big thing, her tongue, when it's not flipping out like that, that's clear sign of respiratory infection because it can't flip that tongue out in order to, see that? Yeah. It keeps doing that through the whole video. So that's a bad sign? Yes. So it's not, it's keeps, not just like cool because it's opening its mouth, it's not yeah, saying hello? Right there. It's trying to breathe. It's, <laughs> say hi. What? <laughs> Dude. Okay, so. Yeah, hot smile for the camp. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's definitely straining excessively. To breathe? Yeah. It does this throughout the whole video. Every video it's in, it's always opening its mouth up and a lot and it of just has like poor scale quality. But it just overall doesn't look healthy. Oh I can hear it breathing. So hearing it breathing is bad? Yeah. Yeah, it's not a good not a good thing. It's not smiling? No. That is not no. Oh, what's it doing there? Yeah, no, that's not no. That But they're experts. Not, no. Okay. Yeah. All right. No. Opening its mouth because it's having trouble uh, getting air. Okay. So they don't Build normally just do mucus. that. No. So they're just not trying to smile for the thumbnail or something like that. It's not. Okay. Yeah, it's tilting its head up like that. Why is it doing that? This is struggling to breathe. Every single one of the reptile experts shown in this video were able to identify immediately that the anaconda had a respiratory infection. So if the reptile channel itself is a channel about educating people, surely they would be aware that not only is their reptile sick, but they are also having difficulty breathing. This is a sure sign, for me at least, that this is nothing more than animal cruelty. According to Social Blade, this channel may be making upwards of £128,000, which is around US$167,000. And the fact that YouTube allows them to make any money at all is disgusting. There are amazing educational and inspirational channels that get their comment sections disabled against their will, which has a real detrimental effect on their channel and the work that they do. But channels like this are free to not only exist but to make money. Where is the logic YouTube? Seriously, where? Because I can't find it. YouTube needs to act on this immediately. There is absolutely no reason that this channel should be allowed to exist. This isn't the first video that's been made on the situation. This isn't something that people have only just realised and YouTube have not had a chance to react. There have been videos made on this channel before and articles all over the internet that go in depth about the channel and the scumbag who owns it. I would be surprised if this channel hasn't already been reported a thousand times a year, yet it's still up. Therefore, YouTube is condoning the actions of those running the channel. They are complicit and they should be very ashamed of themselves. 
YouTube will demonetize, age restrict, suspend, etc. channels who swear or people who aren't wearing enough clothes and sometimes for no reason at all. And hell, I am almost 100% sure this video in of itself will either get age restricted or will be demonetized. I am currently sitting on a community guidelines warning at this very present moment over a video that I made two years ago to do with that family who did some horrible things to their kids. I ain't gonna say their names in this video. But somewhere down the line, there is somebody who decided that this channel was okay. This is a long-standing issue with the channel and the channel owner since 2007. YouTube forcibly banned the creator back then, so my question is why won't they ban them now? Because all they're doing is hiding under the veil of being a family-friendly channel, when we all know if we were to show any of this to a kid, they would be absolutely traumatized. So, 2007 until now, over 12 years later, in the words of Mix Trapper One, why haven't you take that video out and that guy out? Wake the f up, YouTube. And I couldn't have put it better myself. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I am seriously considering making a Patreon purely because these videos take so much time and so much effort, but it is where my heart is. If you wanna support something like that for me to bring this kind of content to you on a more frequent basis, then I'll think about it, let me know. I'll leave a poll somewhere in this video. I want to say a special thank you to New England Reptiles for their footage and compiling all of this information together in easily digestible chunks. I will definitely leave the links to their video in the description down below, as well as Donnie Rapture, who was featured in their video that I took clips from as well. And a massive thank you to one of my researchers who for the first time would like to be named on this video. Her name is Lee. Thank you so much, Lee, for all of your help on this story as well. And until next time, bye.